Dan, dan, dan. That is not what guns sound like. <laughs> I am super excited about this one because you guys were like, Who spoiler forever? Best musical ever! But mostly because I want to know why everyone was asking if this was about spice. It's about spice, right? I have questions before it even starts. <laughs> How's everyone doing? I hope you're wonderful. No, I don't really like that song. But I do hope you're wonderful and on the mood for spies and intrigue and bloody death. I have no idea if any of those things are actually on the show. But judging by the size of Joey's mustache on one of the pictures I've seen, this is gonna be dramatic and I'm here for it. If you're new here, welcome to the Musicals I Know Nothing About series. I'm Barbara and it's not like I know nothing about musicals, I know a little bit more now. Ooh, that name's gonna become fake advertising soon. <laughs> but if you like musicals and reactions and stupid questions, this is it. So hit that subscribe button to join the fam and don't forget the notification bell, huh? I also want to thank my patrons for all the support so far. It means the work to me that people will even watch my videos, let alone sponsor me and help the channel grow every day. So if you want to be part of that family too, go check out my Patreon page. The link is on the description below. Time to solve some mysteries now, I'm guessing. <laughs> oh, we're going straight into violence then. Knew it. The size of the mustache never fails to give away the amount of drama. Is he drunk? I'm with you, mustache. <laughs> I'm crazy about the accent already. <laughs> so the American is supposed to be the hero, yeah? Because I'm rooting for mustache here. Oh, stop it. <laughs> Can't relate though. <laughs> twist oh i was so invested i forgot this was supposed to be a musical love how this actually sounds like a 007 theme song oh lauren is in it i forgot oh yeah oh so good to finally get the name of the show even though now i can kind of see them killing off one of the characters very dramatically and them going, I can't die because spies are forever. <laughs> Thank you, God, for Lauren in this. Quit your tongue fuckery and give me those nuclear weapons. <laughs> Thank God, someone who actually knows what the hell they're doing. You're all oh, do I send some vibrations in the air? Who says that? Straight to violence again, huh? Spies are forever. Nice. Oh, fuck. Ah, oh, that slow motion was wicked. No! Okay, that looks cool as hell. Properly cinematic. And then a bucket of paint blood, of course. Oh no. I have to say this again. The major importance of small details in a show makes me irrationally happy. They're not really killing off Joey's character at the very start, are they? Are they? I love how smooth this is. Oh, the way she says it at the end, oof. Even though now I can kind of see them killing off one of the characters very dramatically. I didn't mean Joey though. Oh, hi, Joe. <laughs> the fact that the cold actually rhymes. <laughs> Love how careless this guy is. <laughs> empty chairs and empty tables. <laughs> wow, he's a really good singer. Yeah, it's definitely about spice. <laughs> this is really intense. Again. How many times do they actually say the word spy in this? <laughs> now I get the jokes in the comments. So I actually thought this was a flashback when it started, but having him dealing with trauma and becoming a spy again is actually better. I just hope they keep the pace and the twists of part one throughout the show. 
<laughs> that British accents are... How can I put this in a nice way? <laughs> Ooh, I like this already. Bossa Nova vibe. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> I love this man. This is so funny and sweet. That was the logical move, though. <laughs> what? There's something really comical about this song. It just doesn't fit the context. <laughs> Please, just don't kill Sehio. <laughs> He's such a fango. <laughs> what? Finding the side characters way more interesting. <laughs> so cute. Don't shoot his pastries, you monster. Bye, Sahio. I love you. Nice. Ooh. This is getting interesting. Is that Cynthia on the phone? The one in charge is usually the traitor. I feel like the agent who's trying to overcome some trauma and get back on his feet. It's such an overdone narrative that it just makes the side characters a bit more interesting. I mean, who wouldn't want to know a little bit more about the regular Latin guy who lives a perfect life but has to sell bombs on the side to go and buy baked goods for his wife? <laughs> <Cake-out just arrived. laughs> there she is. <laughs> <laughs> she did add the smiley face though, gotta give that to her. <laughs> I cannot explain the joy that I feel when Lauren curses. <laughs> I'm actually getting a little bit concerned about it. Please can you just tell me it's normal and you all feel the same? She's giving off Edna from The Incredibles vibes. <laughs> I can't get over it. It is a drill though, right? <laughs> I would be a better agent. I got the call that Owen died, that you lived. I screamed into Susan's neck for 15 seconds, then I locked it up and moved on. And you grew that. Oh, fucking. I know, right? Can't stand that beard either. Yes, That is poisoned. Anyway, oh my god, she's wild. I really hope she doesn't turn out to be a traitor. She's that one character who's probably the most important because they keep everyone moving. <laughs> See, literally driving the story forward. No! Oh, for fuck! Awesome! Oh, Bob, no, you're too good for him. Ooh, I'm so ready for this. The music in this is so varied. They all sound totally different. <laughs> Dumbass. This is my song, guys. Excuse me. Yes, the beard is dead. What you do? Oh yeah, they did it. The shaving saving joke. I was silently praying for it. Thank you. I don't need to hear anything else. I can kiss you, but I won't. Girl, we deserve better. No, Bob. No. That's more like it, girl. There's always a casino, isn't there? <laughs> the dance routines are so awkward though. I seriously love the lighting and the color scheme on stage. It casts these shadows that make everything look more cinematic. Oh. 
That'd be great. What the hell was that? Keep your eyes on the prize. Did he just say ginger puss? What's wrong with the men in this? I miss Sergio. How creative you have to be in theater to make sure the audience can see all the action. They were really in sync there. Touch the nerve. Rest in peace, Owen. Is this flirting or is she having a stroke? Doc! You're gonna get shot! Before we start, I have to say, as a fan of bad jokes, I really appreciate the name of this part. Did not see this one coming. Brilliant. I'm so bad for <laughs> Thank you, my Thank you. What? It is nuts. This is insane. Oh, I feel a song coming. <laughs> For some reason, I keep forgetting this is a musical. Maybe because the structure of the story is a little bit different from the Star Kid shows I've seen. This one is completely centered on the main character and everything that happens leads to him. While on Star Kid shows, you have lots of subplots. Also, Star Kid shows are a bit more silly. If you don't count Black Friday, which is probably the one that is the most similar to this one in terms of that balance between comedy and drama. But again, in Black Friday, I can pinpoint the role of each character in building up the plot. Not only in the hero's journey, like we see here. It's like everybody's still so sore. Oh, time, I'm kind of afraid of this song. <laughs> That's that's what I was afraid of. <laughs> I am so uncomfortable. Oh, this is wrong on so many levels. I hate that I kind of want to dance with them, but no. The wigs, though. <laughs> oh, Nazis are dancing the can can now. Yep, no thoughts. Head empty. Okay, what what else could possibly happen right now? Oh no 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 no! Oh! <laughs> he said it, not me. Ooh, I feel so light right now. Yeah, that's got to be the strangest mix of emotions I've ever felt in my life. <laughs> oh no, not Cynthia. Oh, okay, she's just being rude. That's fine. And you get to eat it in bed, okay? Like a big boy. I'm a big boy. Worst part is that this is awfully real. I've been waiting for this moment. How sweet is it that the deadliest man alive has feelings? The whispered notes are very Disney villain. Ooh, and now we drop the beat. Ah. Oh. <laughs> the bossa nova tropical holidays feel to the music, just coming out of nowhere. It's it's killing me. <laughs> Tatiana is so coming back to save him though. Ah! Oh, the melody change was awesome. Everyone singing at the same time is my favorite. Go, Tatiana! I love this song. You do it. You're down here, you're up there, you're left, right. Extreme <laughs> television personality, Vanga Borscht. Thank you! <laughs> Thank you, that guy knows Sweet himself. little thing. What a wonderful night. What a fabulous Oh, he's singing night. now. Going of course he is. <laughs> That's great. Love in the backstabbing. 
this is a lot of fun and super different. I really, really like this song. Not only because it's a lot of fun, but also because it sounds more fitted to the context than the previous ones. Apart from the opening song, I would say. And don't get me wrong, I love a good old play with melodies that don't fit the character's personality at all or the feel of the scene. But I really like that this one makes an effort to sound like a proper traditional dance party song. Oh my. Ooh, that's... God save this country. <laughs> Ooh, rewind. Rewind. How did Bob get there? <sighs> you know, I really don't like his attitude. He's not doing all this because he actually wants to be better, but because he wants to look like something he's not anymore. Plus, he's a bit of a dickhead. I'm really hoping for a redeeming song at some point. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> Please give me a Sinky spin-off. <laughs> Sinky is like, do it, do it. Oh, now they're all screwed. Her character's just improved any scene. It's ridiculous. I am embarrassed. <laughs> it's too cute. I can't handle it. Oh, please come back. What if his mother is the traitor? I'm sorry, there's got to be a traitor. Shit, it's about to get serious. Tatiana origin story. Okay, I absolutely love that this sounds like nursery rhyme when she's telling the story of her family. Cherry on top. Ooh, this melody is top class. See, that's just another side character I'd like a spin-off for. She's so mysterious and sad. I love it. Her notes oscillate so beautifully. <laughs> no, come back! I'm afraid without the old Kurt, the bad guys win. Wow, humble. He was killed right in front of me. He was killed by your banana. Oh my god, that sounded so wrong. Maybe you'll find a new partner. He's looking kind of funny. We stand funny romantic songs in this house. Oh. Did he really just use that line? <laughs> I know. Is that the mother? <laughs> How the hell does she improve anything? Oh. <laughs> what is happening there, though? This is this just makes everything so much better and also it just adds so much credibility to the story because it's a gay protagonist in a story where his sexuality has nothing to do with the plot and that's like you get a point you get a point everyone involved gets a point I guess we're not doing this. Ah, the way they just flipped all the tables it's like who needs drugs right I love it Finally some character development for Kurt in the space of one song, leading to that tender moment in the end. I'm so fulfilled and so happy you are finally breaking Kurt's barriers. Now the story's gonna get interesting. Like that man there. <laughs> oh, you so, oh, 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 oh my god! 
seriously, I cannot deal with the twist in this. You have a mustache. <laughs> Fair enough. You two start dating? Ooh, drama. He kind of looks like any of that week, though, doesn't he? It's a hard knock life for us. I'd like to say something. Rude. Oh my god, this is brilliant. Gosh darn it! I'm gonna do it! I do! What? <laughs> I do best! Accents. Oh my god, I mean that was my favorite monologue ever. But the word is therapy. Kurt is the definition of extra. What is happening here? very excited about Kurt becoming a better person. All he needed was friends. Yeah, this is a great plan. Getting drunk before trying to save the world. I'm, I'm very confident. Have another. Have another. I really love how he was taking away the loneliness element and putting him into a group that defined or that will probably define Kurt's development as a person from now on. I mean, that's what I'm predicting, that it will be realizing that being with people when accepting help is actually good and will help him grow. I'm sorry, Nancy. It's such a... It's such a... You are... Oh my, please don't kill him. Of course. Ah, thank God. <laughs> Oh, Lauren's out. <laughs> to be honest, that background acting is my favorite thing. Always. Oh no, I can't believe they're doing this again. <laughs> How? What's that glitter? Personal history does have its benefits, Mega. Hold on, what? What? I can't watch this. I can't watch this. Oh my god, it's Owen. No, I can't do this. Okay. <laughs> my god. No, but seriously. I need some tea. Look. Plot twists are fine, I love them, but only when they don't put your mental health at risk, okay? Long time no see. Yeah, Kurt will just lose it now. How, how are you here? Oh, Why Kurt, you, you here? poor thing. Spent as much time hating you as you did. Is this because no, Kurt just walked away on him? Because, yeah, that was weird. Look at me, I keep glitter up my sleeve, <laughs> waka waka! I mean, why did he have glitter? Uh, I'll never stop asking that question. Chimera. Dun dun dun! Very Wow, such a bully. What happened to you, Owen? Wow, they really have a blockbuster script here, huh? Oh, it's under it. Dinosaurs. Give it up. Oh yeah, that's that's how it works. His partners don't tend to last. Jesus Christ! Someone stop the show! Are you gonna go after me? Are you gonna go after the machine? Ooh, the classic spy movie question between the personal and public issue. Uh -uh. Come on, why? I need to be the one. What you need is to go after Owen. Thank you. Change his mind quickly, huh? One step oh, bad props, my favorite. <laughs> I love her. Of course, it's a weapons museum. Where else? <laughs> How about the sexual tension, huh? Aww. Oh no. Don't you dare touch her. They will kill me if I don't give my Jolimol to the shuffleboard journey. And it's just not gonna work. Should have known. Yeah, find this beautiful cut. What a mess. Oh man. How have we come to this? 
How dare you? Ooh, he's aiming for the feelings now. Owens and mine. <laughs> so he was because of that. Well, sound designer is on top of it, huh? Okay, this show needs to chill out. And she's back, finally. She's definitely the most solid character in this. Oh no, don't don't look. It's a grenade, it's live, I have the pin. <laughs> Wild. I still have a job. They just merged. <laughs> Who wins Mega? The nerds. Always the nerds. <laughs> okay, this was always very toxic, but they're getting there. <laughs> oh sweetie. Oh, she deserves all the happiness. Go be happy, Bob. Yeah, we cannot relate. Oh, look at Kurt and all these women keeping him afloat. The show takes a while to warm up, but when he does... Oh god, what now? Good. <laughs> there is just one blood stain that will <laughs> not come out. I love him so much. <laughs> I would be honored. <laughs> one. Take down Chimera. Okay, oh, he's not quitting then. I mean, the show's Chimera. literally Mom, called Spies of Forever, Barbara. If he learns to trust those around him, perhaps he can learn to trust himself again. That's the show summed up right there. Nice. Can't break the spies of forever. Forever. Spies of Forever. They really managed to put together a proper spy drama with some really unusual twists which made everything more interesting. The show took a while to warm up for me because for the most part it's a very typical spy story and I'm not a huge fan of the action-packed spy dramas unless there is some psychological side to it but once it became more personal when we find out about Kurt and his relationship with Owen and Tatiana's story then it drew me in. I think Kurt grew a lot by the end of it once he realized and I quote him trusting other people is the best way to trust himself to get back to what he was or even to become someone new and better but there's still some work to do there which is very relatable because there's always work to do right as people are always learning and growing from that so there's a nice pinch of reality in there as well and i was really really happy that they put that core message into words in the end now i said it a hundred times and i'll say it again the side characters are pure gold i want spin-offs with all of them i mean imagine edna's cynthia's <laughs> what Sorry, they're like twins. Cynthia's backstory, we see where she starts, or even like an agent in the field, that would be awesome. And I think what makes these characters really interesting is that they look like ordinary people until we find out about this one element that makes them stand out, which only happens to Kurt very late into the story. And that's probably why I couldn't be bothered with him for the most of it, I'm sorry. One last thing I'd like to point out is really great job mimicking actual spy films by making the female characters around the male protagonist the actual labor force. That was, that was very accurate. Well, that's it for today, my people. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like this video, comment, share, post it on dodgy forums, print it and mail by pigeons. And let's conquer the world of musical theater. Keep singing. Ciao! It's about spice. It's it's about spice.